Impeachments. It's democracy's one-star Yelp review. <laughs> there have been an avalanche of bombshell developments since we last checked in on the impeachment inquiry. America's lead diplomats on Ukraine, Bill Taylor, gave devastating testimony that Trump demanded a quid pro quo from Ukraine. And Rudy Giuliani, Trump's personal lawyer and man with bipolar teeth, <laughs> butt-dialed a reporter and accidentally left a voicemail talking about how he needed cash. And, of course, one of the big stories, 41 House Republicans protested not being allowed to participate in closed-door hearings, even though 13 of them are allowed to participate in the hearings, which is ridiculous. That's like storming the McDonald's that you work at. <laughs> Just like, I demand you let me in! Your shift started, started an hour ago, Jerry. Just walk in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, needless to say, there's been a shit ton of impeachment developments, and today was no different. So, let's catch up on all the latest in our ongoing segment, The Magical Wonderful Road to Impeachment. <laughs> <laughs> presidential harassment. From the very beginning of Trump's Ukraine scandal, his defenders have relied on one key talking point to muddy the waters. None of the witnesses had actually heard the Ukraine call. They all had secondhand information, but none of them had actually heard the call. Well, today, all of that changed. Defying President Trump, a national security officer, Iraq War Purple Heart will testify to Congress today. The first White House official on that phone call between President Trump and Ukraine's leader to sound the alarm. His name is Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman. According to his opening statement obtained by ABC News, Vindman will tell investigators, I did not think it was proper to demand that a foreign government investigate a U.S. citizen, and I was worried about the implications for the U.S. government's support of Ukraine, insisting it it is my sacred duty and honor to advance and defend our country, irrespective of party or politics. That's right. The latest person to testify against Trump is Colonel Alexander Vindman, which means two things. One, there is more and more evidence piling up against the president, and two, Trump has finally met a colonel he doesn't like. <laughs> and you can see why Vindman's testimony is not good for Trump. Not only did he sound the alarm about what was happening with Ukraine, but the guy is a decorated Iraq war veteran with a purple heart. The only American with more impressive resumes is Aunt Becky's daughter, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, because she did all of that and was captain of the crew team. She was killing it, yo. <laughs> so if you're a Trump defender, how are you gonna argue that this guy isn't trustworthy? Well, instead of focusing on the more than two decades he served America, you could focus on where he's really from. He, uh, is from the Soviet Union. He emigrated here, uh, and has an affinity to the, the Ukrainian people. Here we have a U.S. national security official who is advising Ukraine while working inside the White House, apparently against the president's interest. Isn't that kind of an interesting angle on this story? I, I find that astounding, and, you know, some people might call that espionage. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. The new angle on Fox is that America can't trust this Purple Heart recipient because he moved here from Ukraine. Now, mind you, uh, he was three years old when he came to the U.S. <laughs> so, he didn't move here. He was moved here by his parents, <laughs> right? Because now they're making it seem like he was, like, a double agent for Ukraine. Like, what kind of baby spy thriller were you guys watching, <laughs> huh? This little toddler was just out in these streets wrecking shit. Is that what you think? The three-year-old little Russian spy. You think his plan in Russia and like all in Ukraine he was like, I will join US military and trust. <laughs> and then when time is right, they will make up story about quid pro quo for Mother Russia. <laughs> Excellent, comrade baby. And when your mission is complete, you can watch extra episode of Peppa Pig. 